Hello everyone and welcome. On the screen now is an application that I created with just one command. As you can see we have a post scaffold with Tailwind CSS styling and I'm able to do all the things that you can do with post scaffold. Delete, read, destroy and update. And as you can see the application looks decent already because it's already got Tailwind CSS styling. And I did this using Rails templates and so I'm going to teach you how to do this yourself. I could have made this a lot more complex adding user authentication more models, more scaffolds, associations between the posts and the users, and much, much more. Roles for the users, whatever. It could be as long as you want it to be, the template file. Anyway, so let me teach you how I did it. So first of all, let me go to the terminal. And let me stop the server, and then let me cd out and go to the templates file. So I made a new folder called Rails Templates. So cd Rails Templates. And I know code dot to show you the file that I have in here. So currently I only have one template, and this is the template that I used to make this application here just by one just by running one command and so the command that i ran was just like rails new and then the name of the application and then i did dot m and then i did the name of the template the path to the template so i did rails templates slash post post uh, post dot rb and that's the whole command that i ran and this is the application that i got anyway let me show you this file and as you can see, it's only 40 lines of code, so it's not that bad, considering you can use it all of the time. It's I can just have this forever and ever. And so it's pretty simple. What this does is it runs commands, adds gems, and changes lines of code in your application just as a template. So as you can see here, it's adding Tailwind CSS Rails, auto prefixer, then it's running bundle install, and then you can say run, and then Rails Tailwind CSS install so you can run commands. And then to generate a scaffold, you just say generate scaffold, post, title, string, content, text. So instead of saying content text, I could say, I don't know, like description. And then now every post that I create using this template will have a description and a title. Then it runs the command Rails DB migrate. It also routes the post hashtag index. And then here's the Tailwind CSS part. So it adds this part to the form. And so you can say inject into file and then you have the path for the file. Then you just say after and then you have your HTML code. Then it just runs Rails assets precompile so that all the assets are precompiled and I can view the Tailwind CSS without having to run this command. And then it even runs the Rails server for me. So this is the lowdown and the summary of what templates do and how they're super mega useful for developers who don't want to repeat themselves all the time. For example, if I search up a developer called Chris Oliver, you may have heard of him. This guy has like 50 applications, it feels like to me. And he's an insane developer. He's really, really good. This isn't actually him, but anyway. And I'll just show you one application. It's called Hatchbox. And I believe that he made this application using some sort of a template as this application looks the same or very similar to other applications of his. For example, this one is a one for Rails hosting made simple for small businesses, as you can see. And another one would be called railsbytes.com. Railsbytes.com. And as you can see, I mean, they're not that similar, but they are at the same time. He has loads of more websites, and actually this website is quite useful. It's templates to enrich your Ruby on Rails apps. So it's actually what we're talking about in this video, and they have templates on here. So I can explore templates, and then you, as you can see, there here's one template, authentication with device. So this can be useful if you're trying to build your application as soon as possible. Here's a good one to add RSpec Rails to your application which is a tool for testing. I'll just show you another one of his websites, GoRails. You'll definitely have heard of GoRails. And as you can see, this one and this one is basically the same. And that's because of templates. At least I think it is. I mean, you can even see, look at this curve on the Made Simple and on the Ruby on Rails, it's exactly the same. He probably just has some sort of span and then some CSS, and then it adds the curve on that word. So he can just build websites so quickly because he has templates and his templates are definitely much more complicated than the one I have in this video. If this one's 40 lines, his one is probably a thousand. 
He's a nice guy and I recommend you check out all three of these services. They're actually pretty useful. He has many more. Uh, I'm not really sure of any right now, but yeah, they're all pretty good. And so that was the point of this application to show you how templates work and how to use them. So basically all you do is you create a template file and you just say like the name of the template .rb, it's a Ruby file. And then when you're creating your Ruby on Rails application, you can reference this template file. So I'll just show you just to make sure that you've got it. So as you can see, I'm in my, I'll just clear it. So clear, and then I'll CD out of this and I'll go CD Rails projects. And let's say I wanted to make a post application real quickly, a, a Ruby on Rails application with post scaffold. All I have to do is say Rails new post and we'll just say poster and or we'll just say blog application, blog app. And then we can do dash M and then rails templates slash post dot RB. And this is the place where I have this template file. It's in rails templates slash post dot RB. And so if I run this file, then it's going to use the template to create the application. And in fact, I got an error because I'm trying to reference a template file that's not in the right place. So what I have to do is just CD out of this directory and then run the same file, uh, command again, or I could just change the location of this to dot dot so that it looks outside of the directory. But anyway, let me just show you this. So Rails new blog app, and then dash M Rails templates slash post dot RB. And then let me just prepare the browser while the application is creating. So I'll just get rid of this. And now the server is already started because I have that in the template file. But I'm just going to CD and stop the server and CD into the blog app so that I can show you all the code. So I'm going to do CD blog app and then Rails S. And if I go here, uh, sorry, I have to do code dot to open up <laughs> Visual Studio Code. Right. So as you can see, now I have it open in Visual Studio Code. And I want to show you that the template actually changed the application. So if I go to, if I go to app and then views, app and then views and then let's go to posts and then index let's say as you can see here there is some tailwind css that wasn't there beforehand also we have some here and also we have some here so this is extremely extremely useful we can also go to config roots.rb and it says resource or root to post hashtag index as well as posts and yeah and so now i'll just show the rails server and so you can actually see the applicate oops see the application if i actually can start it so i'm gonna open up my browser and then go to localhost 3000 and then i'll actually have to see this post template made so let me go and have a see and as you can see here we are the new application it's called blog app and if i create a post obviously we can create a post worst post ever create post as you can see post was successfully created and it looks better than i could have coded myself in css <laughs> so yeah that's it rails templates i have a ruby on rails mentorship program which you might find very beneficial check it out in the link in the description thanks for watching if you like this video subscribe and then i'll see you in the next one